everybody. How you doing? I'm doing very good. Uh, I'm just going to do a six strainer pour <laughs> on an 8 by 10 and we'll get started. I want to go with black. Not too much because I get carried away with it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go with this is sort of like a uh, I can't remember the color. What color? I don't know. I can't remember. I didn't mark it. Just can't quite remember. Uh, this was eggplant, deep eggplant. And then I have a little quinacridone magenta. And let's go with it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of black. Same thing. Uh, this is aquamarine. Metallic. And not too much of that eggplant, but just a little bit more. And I just need a little bit more, so I'll go with this, whatever that was. Somebody help me out with that one. I can't remember. That's good. Maybe a little bit more aquamarine. Okay, that's pretty. All right, here goes. Let's see what I could do. We'll just let that drain through a bit. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looks pretty metallic-y. Don't think I'm gonna like the middle, so I'm actually gonna suck that out with the pipette. Just suck it out until it kind of draws it in a little bit, okay? But I'll pause it in between to get it done fast. Looks pretty. Looks like peacock in a way. Oh, can I say that right? Yeah, peacock. Not bad. Not too shabby. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's got some magenta in it. Why not? Oh, you can always do lots of stuff with this. Put some pretty purple. Um glitter right there in the middle. I'm just going to wait it on a minute. Let's see if it does anything else. Okay, so hold on. Okay, looks like I'm going to put a tiny bit of this holographic violet glitter in it. This should be pretty. I've kind of let it set for a little while, 
developed a lot of cells. But let's take a look at it. Can you see that glitter? It's real pretty. It's very beautiful. I'm actually really loving it. So what I think I want to do is let that dry. And I think something real pretty would be nice right there. And I went ahead and made up this little bird. Okay, so I'll probably have to touch it up some once it dries. Uh, if you look at the back, there's lots of little holes, so I'll poke those holes through once it dries. That's a little wooden one. I think that one looked pretty there. Right there. So stay tuned so you can see the rest of it. Once it's finished drying, I'll put it there. Okay, so stay tuned so you can see it. Okay, so I just woke up. That's only been about six hours. Later, it's still wet though. I accidentally smudged my knuckle right here, putting it on there. Ugh. Like, oh my gosh. And it's so pretty. I think it looks really awesome. So I laid it there, feeding it wet. That way it'll just stick real good. Hey. Gotta have something there. It just looks funny without it. Always happens to me something center. <laughs> Those centers, they just haunt me. <laughs> but, well, and if I didn't suck out the center too with the pipette, it might not have been that way, but I know I wouldn't have liked it. Because I've done them a lot of times. And there's always this like round circle like an eyeball. You know in the center of your painting. And I'd rather have that pulled in pretty look. So I'm digging this. You guys tell me what you think. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Kind of looks really good right there. <laughs> yeah it's pretty. Alrighty then, have a good one. I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching everyone.